All right guys, this is Paul, AKA Modern Reefer, and today we're gonna take a look at my custom settings to the Apex Trident system in order to get it to test once per day. So today, let me share with you what I found in the past few days here um, on one of the posts in our local Facebook group. So basically what we have here is my Apex uh, dashboard. And this is the local one. So if you look here, it's apex.local, all right? So um, basically, uh, the Trident actually acts or is an output or we can use an output to control it it's currently running four tests of alkalinity per day two calcium and two magnesium but uh, with this trick here um, you can actually modify this and have it run uh, at whatever interval you want now of course for the most um, for the most of us we actually wanted to run less than the default and of course you're gonna run this at your own risk I'm not gonna be responsible if you make any changes outside of the defaults. But uh, let me just show you what I found the other day and I think this will be very beneficial if you don't really run, uh, want to run your um, alkalinity, calcium and uh, magnesium test um, at the default intervals. So um, I found this great article here. If you look at this here, this was posted by Reef uh, Beta on the humble.fish forum. And he's basically saying, hey, you know what? Um, you know, the, the fusion, uh, has this, uh, output that you can actually go in to kind of control the Trident itself and you'd have to just go there and then program it, um, you know, based on the interval that you want. And he goes and tells us, okay, this is how he's doing it. Looking at the module, getting the module ID, and then he tells you, go to the URL and then, uh, you know, go to your outputs and set this um, URL so that you can get to the uh, Trident uh, output configuration. And so I did just that. Um, wasn't sure if it's gonna give me what uh, Reef Beta had mentioned here, but when I went there, it actually did give me just that. So first thing you have to do is you wanna open up your dashboard here, and I'm assuming you could do it through apexfusion.com. I did see it there, but I decided to do this locally here. Um, so I'm connecting directly to my Apex. So if we look at this here, I do have a Trident, all right? And you wanna go here to your settings and then your module, and you wanna see what the Aqua Bus is, okay, the ID. So for me, in my case, it's seven. In your case, it could be eight, nine, 10, it could be lower, it just depends on um, what uh, number it registers as when it um, connect to your apex. All right, so we know it's a seven. The next thing we need to do is go to one of your outputs. So I'm gonna go to the, my main light output here. And what we wanna do is we wanna look at the URL because then that's gonna give us the URL that we need. All right, and so from this URL, we know that I was on address seven for the Trident. So I'm gonna go ahead and put seven here. And we're gonna go to seven underscore three. Okay, seven underscore three, enter. All right, so this is the Trident output configuration. Um, and you can see it's called Trident right here. And then it's got an oscillation timing here and it's set to trigger at a certain time. So I did dig this up here to get um, some more information on this and I will provide these links down in the description below so that you can read it at your leisure. But um, just really quick here, just to give you an understanding of what's happening, um, let me just backtrack a little bit. So we know that the Trident does four, four alkalinity tests per day, and then it also does two calcium and two magnesium tests per day. So this is the default. Now, if you wanna modify this and go outside this range, you're doing it at your own risk, but understand that you can actually trigger all this and get this all set up through this configuration right here. Based on what I read, um, you're able to successfully adjust the timing of when you want your uh, test to trigger. So for the Trident, um, 
it's got two outputs. So this is the first output. Seven underscore three is my output. Yours could be whatever your device ID it is with the underscore dash three. So you need that in there, okay? So the trident underscore dash seven dash three does all three of the tests, okay? So it does your alkalinity, your calcium, and your magnesium. All right, so if we go back to this um, thread on reef to reef, this guy, um, Suncrest Reef, I copied this from someone else and posted it here. All right, so really quick, let's take a look at this here, what the command does. This is a good starting point right here. So if we take a look at this, it's saying that this first set of um, uh, numbers here uh, controls the delay before first run, okay? And then this right here, the second set of number is the time to run. The last set of number here is the delay until next run, all right? So all this here starts at midnight. So as an example, if you look at this one here, 000 slash 005 slash 005. So what that's saying is that it's gonna delay for zero minutes, all right? And then it's gonna run for five minutes. Then it's gonna wait for another five minutes before it runs again. All right, so that's what it's doing. Uh, same here, right? This one, it's going to turn on the output for seven minutes and turn off for two, turn it off for two minutes and then repeat. All right, so if we look at the apex, this is exactly what it's doing. So this is the trident underscore seven underscore three. So on this output, it's running all three tests. And so what it's doing is right when it hits midnight, it's going to kick off the uh, one minute here, which is going to run all three of the tests, your alkalinity, your trident and your magnesium. And then it's going to wait for 719 minutes, which is um, if you count this one minute here, this would be a total of 720 minutes, which is 12 hours. So that's why it's taking three tests at um, midnight and then three tests around noon. All right. And the default for this, uh, for the Trident, um, you know, it actually runs for all tests to calcium to magnesium. So that's how it's achieving this with this output doing these uh, three tests, one at midnight and one at 12. And then there's another output here. All right, so this is for the alkalinity and it's running twice uh, in this output here, on this output configuration. So it's running, uh, if you look at this here, it says uh, it waits six hours, all right, and from midnight, so that's six in the morning, and then it'll kick off the run for one minute. And then it says wait another six hours, which would get, uh, get us to about noon, but then before we start again, it'll say wait another six hours, which gets us to uh, around 1800 hours, and then it'll kick off again, all right? So this is how we're getting the other two sets of alkalinity tests. And so we're getting a total of four alk tests, um, two magnesium and two um, calcium. But um, when I was looking at this right here, uh, Reef Better says, hey, you can set it off initially and then you can set it on a time. So if you set it for just one minute, then it'll kick that off at that time. So theoretically, what we could do is <clears throat> we could, if you want to target a certain time when you run, you, when you want this to run, we can say if time 700 to 701, then on, it'll kick this on once. So we could do something like if time is seven zero two seven zero one, then on so that is what he's doing here right so you could change this if you want it to be earlier at seven you can do that you know i mean at six at six you can do that if you want it later on the day you can do that but my recommendation is to run it before the light comes on and run it once at night time because those are usually the highest and the lowest in terms of the alkalinity swing 
So this is um, a suggestion. I mean, if you want to run it at different times of the day, you can, or you could just leave the default here. Um, the default is gonna kick this off. This is again, just the alkalinity test. It's gonna kick it off once uh, a day. I'm sorry, twice a day. All right, but if we remove that and we leave just this, then it'll kick on just once a day. And we could probably put in here, if you want to do it at a different time, you can do that. But if you do this, um, it'll kick on once a day. Now, I haven't really tried it yet. Um, based on what I read here, it looks like it'll work, but I'm going to actually set that up and have mine run once a day to see if that'll work. Uh, but uh, let's just go ahead and save this here, see if it takes it. But it looks like it took it. So my assumption is that this will actually work, um, but I will test it out just to confirm. All right, so the other thing is, uh, I'm gonna put that back in here and take this out for now. Um, I know a lot of you guys want to only run the calc and the magnesium once a week. And so, all right, so what we could do is, I, I like this up really quick here on my other pump and I'm assuming this would work, possibly, but something we would have to try out. Maybe we may not need this, um, but you may have to test this out to see if it'll work for you or not. But my assumption is that, is that uh, for this here, for all three of the tests, that's your alkalinity, magnesium, and calcium. If we set this here, it'll run at seven in the morning, right? It's gonna go to the next command. It's gonna say only on Saturday, then on. If it's the other day of the week, then off. So I haven't tried this yet, but you can give this a try. Let me know if it works down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm actually gonna kick this off too, and then um, also give this a try to see if it works. Uh, but basically, if my assumption is correct, we should be able to kick this off. And this, the, uh, these three tests should only run on Saturday at seven o'clock in the morning, meaning then we'll just be able to test this once a week. Um, and then we'll go back to the alkalinity one, and we'll set the alkalinity to run every day. And we can set it to run once a day, twice a day, how many times we need. So if I did something like this, it should run twice a day, once at seven in the morning and once at 2100, 21 or 20 hundred hours. Um, I'm gonna let that run and see if it works, but my assumption is that it took it so it might work. If I set that to run twice a day, and what I will eventually do is I will eventually, um, you know, just test this once a day and then test the alkalinity and the magnesium. Oh, and the, I'm sorry, test the calcium and the magnesium once a week or maybe twice a week. Um, and then that would, uh, you know, extend your, um, your reagents and it should be able to extend, and re you know, increase it from two months to possibly four months. No, I don't know about how that's gonna do or what that's gonna do with the lines. It might clog it up. It might ruin the actual uh, plastic glass that's inside. That's, um, uh, you know, the testing chamber. Um, but only time will tell. So if you guys run into any issues, uh, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show this to you guys. I'm gonna get this set up and get my going. And hopefully in a week or two, I'm gonna see if it's, um, you know, if it's still functioning and if it's still accurate. And if it is, I'm gonna leave it like this for the time being. So, all right guys, um, let me know if you have any questions. You know, I wanna thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I just had to jump on here really quick to put this out because I think this is gonna be very beneficial for those um, who's got the Apex Trident. So again, guys, like and subscribe. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.